A new study finds that people would rather hurt themselves than be bored. In other news, our lives are just one giant episode of Jackass. Hey guys, Tara here for D News, and it's become increasingly evident that we are a society who hates being bored. I would rather eat a maggot than risk being alone with my thoughts, which coincidentally I have done before. But it turns out I'm not the only one who feels this way. A recent study from the University of Virginia finds that people would rather inflict self-harm than do absolutely nothing at all. Researchers asked a group of participants to spend anywhere from 6 to 15 minutes alone in a room and then record how enjoyable the experience was. There were 11 experiments in total, and the first one looked at mostly college students who reported that their thinking period was not enjoyable and that it made it hard for them to concentrate. So scientists repeated the experiment with a broader range of age groups and backgrounds, thinking that maybe older people might be more likely to enjoy the experience. They were not. Turns out everyone, no matter what age, race, or income you are, simply hates being bored. The lead author of the study, Dr. Timothy Wilson, says he doesn't think these results are necessarily a product of our fast-paced modern society, or even things like smartphones and TV. Rather, he believes those things exist because people prefer to engage with the world around them versus letting their brains go idle. So what qualifies as engaging? Well, most people said they would prefer listening to music or using a cell phone or reading, but even unpleasant activities are still better than nothing at all. In one of the experiments, participants were placed in a blank, unadorned room for 15 minutes with no outside stimulation, but this time they had the option of administering a mild electric shock to themselves with the simple press of a button. Before the study, all of the participants received a sample shock so they would know what to expect, and all of them said after receiving it that they would pay money to avoid being shocked again. However, once the experiment began, people's boredom set in quickly, and two-thirds of the men in the study, along with a quarter of the women, wound up shocking themselves again at least once during the 15-minute period. Wilson notes that the disparity between the number of men and women who shocked themselves might be explained by the fact that men tend to seek sensations more often than women. Still, it's surprising to see that simply being alone with one's thoughts, even for 15 minutes, is apparently so aversive that it can drive people to harm themselves with something they previously said they would pay money just to avoid. I guess we really don't like having to reflect on things, do we? I mean, sure, meditation and daydreaming are fine, and people do them all the time, but Personally, I think the issue boils down to control. It's not that we hate having time to reflect, it's that we want to do it on our own terms, when we're mentally prepared for it. At least, that's how I feel. I'm sure a lot of you out there also hate being bored, and if that is the case, allow me to direct you to another show hosted by myself and Trace called Test Tube. It's like D-News, but for current events. You should go check out our episode on the phrase autism spectrum and what that actually means. I promise you will find it informative, and maybe even a little sexy. Definitely not boring, either way. In the meantime, let us know what you think of this study, and if you're one of those people who hates being bored, or if you enjoy the quietude of no distractions. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. You can also hit us up on Twitter at DNews, or me personally, at Tara Longest. That's all for me, but thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.